In terms of planning for earthquakes, it's really important to ask yourself, if you have a mobility disability first, is can I get back up? We often are told to duck, cover, and hold on, but for someone like myself, not having the arms or legs, first of all, getting out of my wheelchair could be a danger and I can hurt myself. And if I did survive that and not hurt myself, I may not be able to get back into the chair and it may be some time before anyone is able to see that I actually need assistance. So it's really important to think about your abilities in that situation. So what you should do is make sure you try to get away from stuff that's falling on you. And then the most important thing is to figure out how you're able to cover your head and your neck. Um, so if you're sitting in a wheelchair and maybe ducking down um, and putting your arms over your head, for someone like me who doesn't have any hands, what I try to do is turn my body and put myself against my headrest. Um, so at least I'm getting some protection. I'm getting some protection from my headrest um, in order to not have, not have things falling um, on my face. The other important thing is whether um, you are using a wheelchair or it's difficult for you to walk, it's hard to fight the earth when it's moving. So the best thing to do is try to get in the spot as quickly as you can or stop where you are if it's safe enough and not try to fight it. Um, I've tried to fight a couple times with my wheelchair um, with the earth moving and I almost flipped my wheelchair over um, because it just didn't work with uh, everything that was happening around me. Um, if you're a person who's blind or has low vision, the same principles um, are in place. Um, if you can get down and cover and hold on, you should do that as long as you're able to get back up on your own. Um, but if you're not, don't do it. And then secondly, make sure you're preparing the people around you to assist because things may have fallen and there may be some serious hazards that could cause you harm and whether it's an injury or a death um, if you're trying to walk through stuff on your own. So really prepare people around you to guide you and help you in terms of walking um, through the hazards that have now occurred based on the earthquake.